Hey guys, in this quick video we're going to take a character and a motion from ActorCore, customize the motion briefly in iClone, and then import everything into our Blender scene. Let's start off by looking at how we can download both motion and model assets from the ActorCore site. In the Actor section of our ActorCore library, there is an ever-increasing selection of character models to choose from. You can narrow down your search with the categories on the left. There are various different categories which are suitable for a wide variety of scenarios. Once you've found the character you want, simply select it, choose the target tool preset that you want to export your character to, and then hit download. You can also export to iClone as well, in which case the model will be directly added to your smart gallery in the iClone application. Downloading motions works essentially the same way. You'll see similar categories on the left in the motion section, and you can also add search terms in the search field at the top. Once you've found your motion and hit download, a window will pop up asking which actor model you'd like to retarget the motion to. Here you can choose an actor type that looks the most similar in physique and gender to your own. If you're ultimately exporting to Blender, then make sure that you choose the Blender target tool preset here as well. Let's take a quick look at adding character models and editing motions in iClone next. In iClone, you'll find all of your character model and motion assets in the Smart Gallery. You can apply them to your viewport by simply double clicking. Simple pose editing for your motion can be done with the Edit Motion Layer tool. If you select a body part and adjust it at the first frame of the motion like I'm doing here, then that refinement will persist throughout the duration of the motion. You can also make adjustments at different frames throughout the motion as well. Once we're happy with the adjustments, we can then go up to File, Export, and then Export to FBX Format. Again, since we're using Blender, we're going to select that as our target tool preset. When importing assets into Blender, it's important that you first have the Reillusion Auto Setup add-on installed in Blender. You can find this from the ActorCore website by going to the Multi-Platform Support area, choosing Blender, and then clicking on the Download button. This will take you to the GitHub where you can download the applicable zip file. To install it, go up to Preferences in Blender and click on Install in the Add-on section. Simply select the zip file from here and it will be installed. After that, you can search for CC and find it easily. Once it's active, we can import our character using the Import Character button. Make sure to select the relevant FBX file and then Import. You'll see your character appear in the Blender viewport momentarily. Bring your character model to wherever you want in your scene. We also exported a custom motion from iClone earlier, so let's take a look at importing in that FBX now. With our character model selected, let's go up to import our FBX from the file menu. It will appear as a skeleton for now, since we didn't export the FBX with a mesh. What we need to do is assign that skeleton to our character rig in Blender. This can be done by first opening our dope sheet, and then importing in our motion from there. All motions in your project that are compatible with the selected rig will appear, and you can choose from there. After the motion is assigned to the character rig, then you can position the character anywhere in your scene by adjusting its transform position. If the proportions are a bit large or small for your environment, you can also slightly adjust the scale of the character mesh. However, be sure not to change this too much, as the motion retargeting result may be inconsistent if you scale your character too much. That's it for this quick video on importing actor core motions and models into Blender quickly and easily, using the auto setup add-on for Blender. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.